people say just subtle things in social media and they're like next year we're running for president so you overthink it if that was on that <laughs> i hate you you're trying to get me cancer i would say i'm not a fan not a fan i moved on to like how do you reshot the brands your rate cards mm -hmm. back up so christmas goes right so a lot of brands reach out early beforehand for mm -hmm. christmas content and i'm just like hello everyone welcome to a brand new episode of the life beyond the apps before we are starting off shout out to our venue partner skyport by coronation our hair and makeup partner the beauty quest and our clothing partner the cult original so today we have set to me with us hi set to me how are you doing today hi i'm doing good i'm a bit nervous but yes. i'm doing good hey i love the outfit thank you i i know you said casual and then i was like you know what this is not going to happen again so i think that's pretty casual it's a full purple outfit that is nothing heels. called overdress there's no there's no such thing as overdress oh, no thank you love and what do you do beyond content creating um well my name is setmi gunawardana i'm not going to say my age um but i would say i'm currently doing my level 6 in cim it's been a bit hectic with work but not too bad cuz cim is very it's easy going like it's just we can class and stuff like that mm -hmm. and i also recently had my first content creating workshop that Tell went. us all about it uh, it was Well, it was very. We planned it like three months prior. Mm -hmm. It was a bit rushed, but we were just like, you know what? Let's like get it. It was me and a few of my friends that like mm -hmm. got together, and we started a brand. And this was supposed to be the first workshop. Mm -hmm. It was. It was like I was so nervous because they were like relying on me a lot because it was our first workshop. We needed to make a good impression. Yes. And I have never done something like that before. So I was just straight up like, you're putting a lot of like trust in me. Mm -hmm. Like my friend was like, I trust you. You can do this. Okay. I was like, uh huh. Okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> that <laughs> helps. Yeah, that helps a lot. <laughs> like the first, like the first few people came, and I started sweating. I was like properly nervous. I was just like, oh my god, I, I can't do this. Were you expecting that much of people? No. Like they just kept coming in, and I was like, okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Like uh, this is the right place. Are you sure? <laughs> mm. And the more people that came, I just kept getting nervous. Okay. And like I thought I. I was so scared of stuttering in front of people, and I was like, "What am I gonna do?" Like I was sweating and I was scared. I mean, it went so much better than expected. The turnover was really good, and we have a lot of demand right now asking for a second workshop. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. Fingers crossed. Sounds like you killed it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I moved on to the more important aspects. I moved on to like, how do you reach out to brands? Your rate cards. Mm -hmm. How do you negotiate? and then we moved on to how do you take like certain angles of pictures yeah. how do you uh, like talk to brands yeah. i prepared them for instances of possibilities that could happen when they yeah. work with brands and that was cuz i want them to be prepared for the real life thing oh, that's great look at you conquering <laughs> the world and also said to me do you work full time do you i did I used to. So why does everyone come here and say they did work? <laughs> Many people I interview were successful. <laughs> no. So the thing is, it's a funny story actually. I had my first job beginning of this year. I started started the year off. I was like, I just need a job. I just need to work, okay? Because I felt like even though I had the education, I don't have experience to back it up. Fourth of January, I got my first job. Oh, I applied nice. the same day. The dot. I applied on the same day I got the job, and I was like, it was meant to be. My work was like six minutes from my house too, and I it was part time, so I didn't have to go every day. I just had to go three days a week. It was I thought it was amazing, but the thing was when you when you apply for work, you end up doing more than what you expected, mm -hmm. and that was a bit like, okay, I'm also studying and doing this, yeah. and it was two three months in. It was getting like. My, like I had no life. It came to a point where I would go to sleep thinking about my workload, and I would wake up thinking about the workload. Yeah. The nerve-breaking feelings I just, get doesn't make sense. <laughs> like whenever I see the name pop up on my screen, I'm just like, oh no, but did I do something? Like the nervousness. Why? Okay, but then I had first-hand experience, and I was like, back up. Okay, this is not what I wanted. It was just too much for me, and um, I I quit actually. <clears throat> I resigned. 
Was and it risky to take that step? What did you? How was that? It was, Give me all the emotions. It was. It was so sudden, unexpected. I wasn't planning on it. Uh huh. It was just unexpected. Like I just, it came to a point where like my mind was just like I can't do this anymore. Like this is becoming too much for me. And I was just like, and I just sent in my resignation. I didn't think it through. I just sent in my resignation, and I was just like. No. <laughs> oh, I I can't believe I just did that. I cannot believe I just did that. Cause the thing was, I had just started content creating. I wasn't. I mean, I was earning from it, but I was earning small incomes from it. Cause mm. I've just started. Like, it just happened. Like, I wasn't mm. planning on it. It just mm. happened, and I was just going with the flow of it. It mm. was just a side hustle. I wasn't focusing on it while you were part time. Yes. Oh, so that's so it was part time and content creating and my studies and like. It was there was there was a good balance between my studies and my content cre- cre- creation work, mm-hmm. but there wasn't a balance between my work and my studies. As soon as I sent the resignation letter in, I was like, "Oh, I messed up. I thought I messed up. I thought I was done. I was like, like I had so many plans. Mm-hmm. Like I usually plan like a few months ahead. Mm-hmm. My life is planned." A few months ahead, like what's happening Same. next, right? Mm-hmm. I feel like it's it's a lot better to have like an understanding of what you're gonna do yeah. before you actually make decisions. Yeah. And when I for someone like that, I can't believe you took a decision like that. that. Exactly. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. And because once you start earning, yeah, you get addicted. you get used to earning. Okay, <laughs> it's like an addiction. You're like an animal when you earn. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like my favorite animal. Like there's this quote. Like my favorite yeah, animal I, is me after I get my salary. Like. same i am an animal like and then the thing is when i started off the amount i got i was like that's a lot but then once i started like when you earn you get more expenses because hmm. you have more stuff that you want to spend on i know and then when i was spending i'm just like that's not enough anymore yeah. i kid you not like a week after i got so many job offers <laughs> i was panicking for no reason like a week later i got so many job offers and i was just like oh Okay, <laughs> like, what was I being so scared for? Like, no reason. Like, oh my god! And my favorite part of the end of the year, like the last quarter of the year, is like, so Christmas is close, right? So a lot of brands reach out early beforehand for Christmas content, and I'm just like, that's like my favorite thing ever. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, also, do you remember your first ever TikTok that like you put on? Mm. I'm not sure the ex- what the exact video was. But I know it was a trend. Did it go? What's the first viral TikTok video? I the train video. Do you remember that uh, the tube girl trend? Oh yeah. That was the one. I love it, the trend. It, I did it on a train because we don't have tubes here. I did it on a train to Nuwaredi on my on our way to I think Nuwaredi. I just I, I was just like I I'm I'm pretty sure it's still there. Just send it to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, really well considering I was just starting out, and then I was like, it just gave me more confidence because it felt like okay, it's paying off. Like yeah. my me taking a chance. The stairs are paying yeah, off. Yeah, the stairs are paying <laughs> off. The judgmental looks are paying off. Paying off, it's okay. Uh, so, say to me, do you receive negativity on internet? If the grateful you are for the mm. positive ones, obviously you get some. There's a lot of support. Support. A lot of support. From, a lot from of so much people, including yes. us. Thank you. And uh, how do you deal with the negative ones? The so in most, I don't like confronting them because I feel like if I confront them, it's like giving them what they Egging want. Egging more attention. Egging more attention. Yeah. So I prefer ignoring or deleting. I just delete it. Can you? Do you? Don't you overthink it? I have this thing where I tell myself I don't overthink it because these people. This this might be bad, but I feel like the people that comment things like that, they just don't have anything better to do with their lives. That's okay. You do you. You do you. Yeah. <laughs> you do you boo. Said to me, where do you see you in ten years? Either you are running for president, or you are just. Girl, if I could run for president in this country, I'd make it a whole new, better place. But 
you know. See, uh, that's that's exactly <laughs> why people come out like that. People say just subtle things in social media, and they're like, next year we're running for president. <laughs> Don't give me ideas, okay? <laughs> nice. Uh, awesome. We have this rapid fire segment. The most overrated influencer. No, the soy sauce. That's the most easiest one. No, the whole thing, bro. You want me to take the whole thing? <laughs> Why did you start with that question? What do you mean? <laughs> I have a couple of people. See, I don't want enemies. <laughs> I would say it if that wasn't there. <laughs> Okay, okay. Just <clears throat> I hate you. Did I, did I ever mention that? I don't like you, you anymore. Use it, use it. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh show for some wasabi and maybe even better. Mm. I'm you? just kidding, I don't have any overhead influences in my mind. I'm just lying just to Wow, you were trying to bait me. Yeah. <laughs> so, any challenging brand collaborations that you had to deal with? Yeah, there's a lot. What's actually. the brand? <clears throat> Do you want me to tell you the brand? It's the most challenging brand collaboration so far. Leave Ayush. It awesome. Is. Yeah. The most underrated influencer. That's just oh, underrated. That's a few I have in mind. I wanna, I wanna say my sister, but then people already know her. So, but I also feel like she's a bit underrated at times, because she puts a lot of, a lot, like I mean a lot of effort. Like sometimes, let's say she gets a clothing collab. And she's like, if she feels like the aesthetic of the house doesn't go with like the outfit, she would go looking for like a different place to shoot the content. And she would sometimes like book a hotel and go stay there and like shoot the just to shoot that content. Like, uh. like she goes the extra mile mm -hmm. to make sure the content is of the highest quality. And I feel like a lot of people don't know how much effort she actually puts into her videos. So I feel like in that aspect, she's underrated a lot. Tell us you're trying to get me cancelled. I'm not. No? I don't like Taylor Swift. I, I like her music. I think she's a creative person. But her as an individual, I don't like. I feel like she uses feminism as a way to like, protect herself. Like She does a lot of questionable things. A lot of questionable things. And she uses feminism as a way of like putting a barrier and being like, I'm a feminist. So you can't like try to cancel me or anything like that. I feel like she uses it as a weapon. And I don't like that. You're so cute. Thank you. You are very hardworking. And uh, we wish you all the very, very, very best for your future. Thank you. It was so lovely talking to you. You made it very comfortable. <laughs> and hope we can do something like this again. <laughs> so it's an end of this episode of Life Beyond the App. Shout out to our new partner, Skycode by Coronation our hair and makeup partner, The Beauty Quest, and our clothing partner, The Kyle Original. See you guys in another fun and exciting episode next. Until then, see ya!